Hi everyone, this is Amanda from Echo Consulting, and today I wanted to talk a little bit about the organizational hierarchy within Smartsheet. So we're going to talk about workspaces and folders and how you would use both of those features to keep your work organized and be able to find things easily, but also how those two features differ. Um, so again, workspaces, folders. And so I've navigated here to a sort of the browse screen in Smartsheet where you can see already that it's going to be set up within these two sections called Sheets and Workspaces. And just a quick caveat here that, so even though this is titled Sheets, it really means just this is kind of the home of where all of your individual items, uh, that's where they live, that's their home. And you can add folders into this to get this nice and organized, but you might have sheets in areas that are also in workspaces, they're also in folders, right? So it's just sort of a place to know this is um, where your individual things live unless they've been added to your workspace. So I have some folders in here already that I've created to help me stay organized in this sample works, uh, Smartsheet space. And so you'll see here that when I click on this section, I do have a couple folders that I can look at that have things in them. So for example, I have this folder called today's project that has a subfolder in it. Um, it's good to know in Smartsheet that you can nest folders. So a folder that you create can hold any of the items that Smartsheet has available. So sheets, reports, and dashboards. And they can also hold other folders. So this is a really good, just kind of quick view of the hierarchy of folders, right? So you've got a folder with a folder in it. Um, and then within this folder, if we look at the main frame, you can see the individual items in it. So that's sort of a good starting point in terms of the hierarchical structure. Um, if I were to click on some of the other folders in here, you'll see that there's some other, there's some other items that exist in this folder. Um, so I like to think of folders as being really helpful for organizing individual items, mostly for one person. Um, or using folders within a workspace to organize for a team. But just know that this area up here, this sheets area, these are your individual, like your individually owned things. So I think of this as like organizing your own project flow, your own day-to-day -day, um, way of maneuvering through Smartsheet. Okay, so that's folders. And then we've got workspaces here, which really come into play when we're working on teams that need to collaborate. So you can see that uh, Workspace kind of shows that already by having this icon with the two little kind of people in it. So a Workspace, it's kind of like if you can imagine a folder is for your stuff, your things, your sheets, dashboards, and reports. A Workspace is like a project headquarters where folders can live, these individual items can live too, but then those items can be shared between and across teams. So I want to open up this marketing team workspace to demonstrate that. And I'm actually going to do something really quick. Actually, I have to go here. I'm not sure that function will be there. So I'm going to open up marketing team. As you can see, this team has multiple folders. We can see it in the sidebar. We can also see it in the main frame. It does have a sheet in here. I can add in a report and a dashboard. Right, so, so this can still hold individual items but using folders to organize an items within your workspace is a really great way to kind of utilize both of these features. So I've got folders in here to keep me organized in this marketing team, but I do wanna go over the sharing option uh, because I think it's probably the biggest benefit to using workspaces in Smartsheet. So in Smartsheet, you can share any item um, if you right click on a sheet or a report or dashboard, you'll see that there is a share option but it's really worth noting here that you can't share a folder. So if I right click this folder, you can see there, there is no share option. It's usually right around here. And so that really goes to so, show that folders aren't necessarily like a headquarters in the same way that workspaces are. But if I'm in the marketing team, right, and I've got this selected, it looks like this is selected right now, but it's not, it's not checked off. So just so you know, um, that I'm just actually selecting the marketing team. I can actually share this whole workspace with other people, whether they're on the marketing team, whether they're on the sales team, whether it's the CEO, whether it's a consultant who we're working with on marketing um, strategy and such. So I can share the entire workspace 
which means that if I did that, everything within that workspace would be accessible to whoever I've shared it with. And so this is really how we use Smartsheet at Echo. We have uh, workspaces for our different kind of teams, our sort of um, our different clients, different projects we're working on, because we can share all of the necessary materials within that sort of bucket um, with anybody who needs to access it. Now, it's also really easy to drop and take things out of workspaces and adjust those permission levels. So I just want to go back to where is my marketing report? There it is. So right now, I just have this kind of case example where I've made a report in my own kind of personal sheet area, and I want to share this with the rest of the marketing team. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click and drag this report, just drop it right into the marketing team. And you can see Smartsheet tells you that this is going to be shared with everybody who has access to the workspace. So we're going to continue with that. And so now when I click marketing team, there's our report, right? So you can do the same thing. It works the opposite way. Let's say I want to take this other report out and just drop it into my miscellaneous folder. It's going to remove that permission to see the report from everybody who is in this workspace. I'm just going to hit OK. So it's really simple to share stuff, um, which is really just a fantastic function in Smartsheet. And so this is, again, I think one of the best ways to utilize both smart uh, worksheets and excuse me, workspaces and folders is if you have workspaces because you want to share things among multiple people, you can put folders into those workspaces to organize your work. The other thing about workspaces that is just a little bit of a difference between workspaces and folders is that you can actually bring branding information into your workspaces. So if you look, if I just go to kind of a different workspace, you can see that this header here is white. If I go into marketing team, it turns pink because I changed it. <laughs> so, so if you are working with different clients and you want to incorporate their branding information into the Smartsheet environment that you have them working in, into their workspaces that you're sharing with them, um, that's a really nice option as well. The last thing I wanted to share here about uh, workspaces and folders is that within workspaces, if you do want to share this with other folks, whether that's on your team, in your organization, with clients, consultants, contractors, etc. Um, so three different levels of permissions can share a workspace. It's owner, admin, or editor. But just know here that if you're in the editor level of permissions, you won't be able to change anything within the workspace. So this is actually a great way for teams to kind of set up a structure within a workspace and maintain that structure. So all these folders that I've set up, I'm the owner of this workspace and therefore I can change it as much as I want. But if I shared it with someone else, they would see this folder structure already and they wouldn't be able to change anything about it. They wouldn't be able to add new sheets or take away things and things like that. Um, so it's again, just a really nice way to make sort of a headquarters of a project accessible to multiple people and know that depending on the permission level, that structure within your workspace is going to stay the same. Um, so again, owners, admins, and editors can share a workspace, but only owners and admins can edit what is in the workspace and how it's organized. Okay, so I think that's just about everything in terms of the differences between folders and workspaces. I'll just reiterate one more time. Using workspaces as a project headquarters allows you to collaborate within and across teams on a project. Um, you can use folders within those workspaces to organize individual items, um, so sheets, reports, dashboards, um, and it just makes it really easy to share a lot of things at once. But if you're using folders, I would say definitely use folders when you're in a workspace. And also use folders to organize your own stuff. Just know that this is going to be um, kind of particular to your Smartsheet environment. So I hope that's helpful in terms of staying organized and finding things in Smartsheet. If you've got questions about this or you want to learn more about using Smartsheet to organize and move through your work, definitely check out our YouTube channel. Uh, it's Echo Consulting. We have a ton of content about Smartsheet, um, so it's definitely worth a look. But you're also welcome to comment on this video or head over to our website and send us a note. 
We really love to answer questions um, and hope that this helps. Thanks so much and have a great rest of your day.